。私の名前はちえみです。えっと名字は福森です。福森ちえみです。えー、私は二十六歳です。私はえっとダンスをしています。そして振り付け家でもあります。はい、OK。My name is ちえみ福森。I'm twenty-six years old and I'm from Japan. I'm a dancer and a choreographer. This workshop is a, has been has been in Kyoto for eighteen years, and this this workshop aiming for it, open up the vision for young dance artists in Japan, and also this is like a big festival for all all over Japan. Japanese is a big fan of contemporary dance, and then also the mover or artists as well. Japanese people. And as Japanese way of approaching dance is very set specifically、um, more personal issues about inside, what your thought, what your your motivations, more like going tended to more going deeply and more、um, very specifically、um, more sadness or more loneliness, more depressions about a human being. But、however,、um, as I noted when I was in Europe and then in Australia for many years, find that Australian people's open up view for contemporary dance is more about、um, ironicity and more about human、um, humanity and more cultural differences. And also, Europe is more about lots of a vision of、um, like culture, like European culture, and compared to Asian cultures. Or like between the people, aging people body and the young people body, so more like diverse. Contemporary dance in Japan, I find, is still underdeveloping. People have a lot of idea of subcultures, but not in contemporary dance art yet. My personal my personal opinion. And in Europe, I found it's、um, people contemporary dance arts is a part of like life. In, in in some Europe countries, people go to theater a lot, or people know about dance world.、Uh, inspired inspired by、um, my feeling, and what my body tells my brain, and then also you know, but I mean, but my body condition tells my brain, what should I do? For instance, if I have stiff body, I want to get rid of the stiffness from my body, so I shake. But this shaking is coming from my brain because my brain knows it. My body needs to get rid of something. Or also, this is more internal kind of awareness I have, and also I need.、Um, sometimes I take some external idea, like rain. It's raining today.、Uh, it's crowded today. It's humid today. So all like、um, outside of me is telling me what to do. That's kind of my inspiration. Sometimes I have. Dance can be a really, really good、um, tool to communicate with the people, especially if you don't communicate with languages, because the languages only just tells the meaning. It, but dance can be also convey what you're feeling, or it's like you're free to kind of guess it. But also sometimes it's all beyond the, like languages we can tell with the body. Contemporary dance can be a subculture as well in Japan, nearly. It was too. A good manga、uh, is representative of potential contemporary dance leading and the relation to a manga and dance. It's called Terepushikora. Terepushikora. <laughs> it's about a late a girl who her body is not designed for、um, art、um, dance. I mean ballet because ballet has so many structures and you have to be very skinny. You have to be a turnout or those like、uh, set up the room. She doesn't have it. How in her body, so she uses like instead of using her body, she uses lots of like mind to create her own world, which doesn't in in this manga it doesn't say it is contemporary dance, but in a way she's approaching to to create her own mind and world. It's a contemporary dance. I feel it is a contemporary dance. I think when I was seventeen years old, I was in New Zealand. And then I met the like lady who、um, who dance a dance teacher for me, and then I was more like hip hop girl. I love to wear like hip hop clothes, do the shaking booty and stuff. But、uh, she told me that the looking is not really important for dance. 
she said inside of you, what you want to do, the telling your body is more important than you try to be uh, prettier, cooler. Mm -hmm. And she does contemporary dance, but she also did hip hop, but she, but she doesn't care about what other people think about her looking. And also, she's a Maori, um, indigenous, um, like a native New Zealand person, and you know, the native person in Kiwi. And then, so she just, she just said to me when I had a uh, first performance in New Zealand, said to me that you should be proud of yourself and you should be really happy that you have your body. Because I feel like uh, I'm, I'm small, but I'm more like a, not, a, not a big, but not skinny as well, you know? Mm -hmm. I feel that I don't have much really attractive body when I try and dance and performance. But she said, you have an amazing body. So you have to be really like proud yourself. Because I feel like my body is not really um, typical Japanese person body. Japanese person is more skinny and they don't have any curve shape, but I do. So I feel like, oh, you know, I have, a Jap I, feel, I have an Asian face and Japanese body, but I don't have any manga kind of like a skinny, skinny body. It's a way, it's a way to say, but then that was my first step that I, you know, I jump into dance. So I still, whenever I have big performance, whenever I have big um, like tasks for choreography, I always back into normal, like beginning. That's, I have to be, first I have to really um, happy and proud of myself. <laughs> Otherwise, how can I show? And how can I make a piece? to the world. This infinitely um, exposure, that's why I still keep doing it. <laughs>